It's Tuesday, July 22nd. We are relaxing after lunch. We are taking it even easier than usual today after the dizzying amount of work we had this morning. Crap, I kinda don't want to move anymore. Damn you for barging in when it was getting good. Hello, what is it? What? What's that mean? Ah, hey! The swimming clubs apparently got something they need us to do. He said it'd suit me perfectly. Very refined of you, Toko. We've come down to the grounds. I'm very much lost on what to do after spotting the group standing a little ways away from us. Why is it all girls? And why are they all wearing swimsuits? The extremely surreal sight of girls wearing competitive swimwear out on the school grounds. It's kinda hard to call out to them. Sorry, Toko, but could you go and ask them what they want? Huh? It's hard for a guy to just walk into a scene like that. All I need you to do is ask if they really did want me there. Please, Toku, I'll buy you two desserts on our next date. That's one more than I offered. I worry for my wallet as I watch Toko walk over to the swimming club. She's taking a while. It's been about 10 minutes since she went over to the swimming club. It's pretty rough just standing still out here because of the sun overhead. I peer over at them. I see three swimsuited swimming club members pressing Toko. What? Did something happen? Are they arguing? I don't think so. It doesn't seem particularly tense. They probably ask her to join the club. Huh? I think I might be able to hear what they're saying if I got a little closer. Huh? Excuse me? Am I the pervert? The swimming club members and Toko look toward me. The eyes of the swimsuited girls immediately become hostile and they start whispering to each other. I may not be able to hear what they're saying, but I can pretty much guess. I need to clear up this misunderstanding immediately, or else my life at school is going to crash and burn. No, let me explain. I was able to explain things to the swimming club. As for Toko, who's supposed to be on my side here. <laughs> Toko, I'd appreciate it if you could quiet down a little. <laughs> of course I was freaking out. I was being labeled as a pervert. Though I can understand why they might think that. It seems like the swimming club members were trying to recruit Toko again. They were also asking for details on her relationship with me and that's around when I got dragged in. <sighs> Shut up. Don't 
Do those last two things have anything to do with this? I guess her boobs make her float better or something. Yeah, but you would have to get her to want to do it in the first place. I'd hoped you'll be able to. ね、羨ましい。ねえ、私も七夕祭りで Girls' talk has started up. They seem to have forgotten my existence. This is why I didn't want to do this. Shuichi, the UN committee chair said I was suited for this job, but what he mean by that? A boy? There are guys in the swimming club, aren't there? It sounds like there's a potentially annoying side to what's going on here. I doubt I need to know the details to help them, so let's just get back on subject. So, what did you want me to... No to self, be careful in the future. Make sure to look girls properly in the eyes when I speak with them. Don't look at me like that, Toku. What the heck do you want me to do? You need to explain it properly. Oh, I get it. That explains why I was picked for this. So the problem is getting materials and the labor required to actually put it all together. So then I'll just need to oversee the process for a day. That should be doable today. Then there is something I want you all to do first. Change into jerseys? It'd be terrible if someone got hurt and I don't know where I'm supposed to look when you're all dressed like this. Seeing Toko signal me for help with her eyes pains me. But I probably only make things worse by jumping into that conversation. あ、私見ちゃったんだよね。雪村さんと街で一緒に買い物してるとこ。
達みたいに恥ずかしいことしたい Well, excuse us for being embarrassing. It's actually pretty easy to get used to it once you start. Seems they're finally in the mood to get to work. I need to do what I can to help since I was asked to handle this. Sure thing, what is it? Get to work already! Who are you calling a pervert? You. Wait a second. How do you know about that? Don't say it like it's a covered ops agency or something. I'm gonna end up a bit impressed. Stop it, dumbass! I wasn't peeping, I was just worried cause Toko took so long and. <laughs> Whatever, even Toko doesn't believe me. I'm going to just live out the rest of my dismal life at school branded as a pervert. Information propagates at a terrifying rate. The entire school is gonna know by tomorrow at this rate. Are there? I kinda doubt it. Like I know. What? Why? I never really thought about it that much. How my relationship with Toko would affect our surroundings. We've been making much larger waves than we thought. I'm sure those waves are going to affect us too and change our relationship bit by bit. そうだ、明日はお前たち休みでいいぞ。どうせ一人で押し持ってしろなんて言われても絶対に来ないよ。休みをまとめといてやった。俺に感謝しながら休日を過ごせ。俺にお土産を買ってこい。うん。かき氷
私もメガネかけた方がいい Togo with glasses. Now that I'm imagining it, it doesn't sound bad. It'd have to be ones with a red plastic frame. I do not. I just thought it'd probably look cute. She's got me playing her game. I don't want to be losing like this. Let's counter attack. Hmm, glasses and your school uniform. A swimsuit could work too. Maybe we could go all the way with a maid uniform. Don't worry about it. I'm just imagining things. Something sporty would be good too. Basketball, soccer, or maybe we could do something out there and go for a martial arts uniform. <laughs> That's what you get for calling me a pervert over and over. What? Ugh, I can never win. Yeah, yeah, then how about we go and get some drinks right now? Today's crazy hot. The city is starting to get serious about Tanabata festival preparations. It's been a long time since the last time I was here for that. I'm looking forward to seeing what it'll be like. I don't really remember too well, but I think it was a pretty huge festival. There was stuff like goldfish scooping, balloon fishing, shooting galleries. I remember I walked around a bunch of festival stalls. Everything I saw was new to me. It was a lot of fun to play with the stuff at the stalls. I remember my friends and I would try to see who could bounce their Super Bowl the highest and how I really wanted a glowing wristband. <laughs> that makes me sound like I was just some brat. Uh, that's different. Besides, that's not bullying. It's more like it's the flip side to my love. All guys are like that. You're telling me this now? And here, out in the city like this? And besides, I bet you were a tomboy. You love messing around. I can't imagine that at all. But you went out and had tons of fun when you went to stuff like this, didn't you? You've never had those? I feel bad about asking her that. I'm sure she'd just say, I don't mind if I apologized. I want her to experience that fun atmosphere. Nothing would make me happier than if Toko were happy with me. Yeah, let's have a ton of fun, together. Hmm? Hmm? The day after tomorrow seems to work for everyone, so we will be having our lunchbox party then. Please assemble at the old school building on the day with your lunchboxes. Oh, it's the lunchbox party. Shinozaki was really excited for this. Normal lunch food is fine, right? I think it is. I will prepare a little more food than I... 
The day after tomorrow. Got it. Yeah, we'll have to do our best for then. Let's respond. Okay. Got it. I'll have something ready. I'll try my best too. She squeezes my hand tight after she sends the message. I squeeze back to reassure her. I'm looking forward to it. Don't forget to be there, everyone. Don't worry, Toko. It won't turn out that way. Even if you do mess up, it'll eventually just become something to laugh about later as a good memory. 